answer. Now, next topic is uh, finishing and polishing of the uh, restorations in conservative dentistry, right? Now, finishing is a process of removing surface defects and scratches created during the contouring process through the use of cutting or a grinding instrument or a bowl. What does it mean that whenever you are doing a restoration and you are allowing that restoration to set or you are contouring that restoration during the initial setting time, whatever application method you use, there are going to be some amount of surface irregularity or surface defects in that material. So this can be uh, minimized at the time of doing finishing. Finishing, uh, gross finishing can be done at the time of uh, initial set or a delayed setting also, or it can be done later also. And polishing is the method process by which it is going to provide a luster or a gl glossy surface to the material. So this is the basic difference between finishing and polishing, which is the integral part of any restoration. Whenever there is a question is asked in the university about any material, don't forget to write about finishing and polishing of the restorative material. That is very important. Now, what is the basic difference between finishing, cutting, grinding, polishing, and abrasion? Finishing is a process of removing the surface defects or scratches created during the contouring process through the use of cutting or a grinding instrument or both. And what is cutting? Cutting is a process of removing material from the substrate by use of a blades, burr or abrasive embedded into banding matrix or a burr or a disc. Now cutting of the restorative material can be done. It is generally done after the setting, but gross finishing can be done during the setting also. Now grinding is a process of removing material from the substrate by abrasion, relatively by the coarser particle. The coarser particle is the hard particle, which has got a more uh, compressive strength and a physical property than the restorative material so that it can grind it out and give a good shape form to have a good physiologic function inside the oral cavity. Now abrasive uh, abrasion is a process of wear whereby the hard and rough surface like sandpaper disc or hard irregular shape particles like those in a slurry grooves in a softer material and to cause the material to form A, a disc or a different abrasive points. Now, in which form these finishing and polishing agents are available? The finishing agents are like burrs and points. The finishings are available in an abrasive silicon strip also. They are available in different burrs and they are available in mounted rubber wheels also. Now, polishing agents are uh, polishing agents are abrasive finishing strips, finishing burrs and points, brushes mounted rubber wheels. There are different cloths, felt and coated disc also. Now goal of finishing and polishing. Why do we have to do this? What, what will, what we are going to achieve? That is the goal of finishing and polishing, right? To obtain a desired anatomy, to obtain a proper occlusion, reduces the roughness of the roughness, gorges and the scratches on the set surface of the restoration. The surfaces should be well tolerated by the oral tissue to prepare the restored surfaces to be well tolerated by the oral tissues. To resist the bacterial adhesion, excessive plaque accumulation, when the plaque deposits and ex exits, they should be easily removed by the tooth brushing and the flossing. So these are the goals which are uh, kept in the mile at the time of using the finishing and polishing so that the restoration will have a proper form, function, and contour so that the less amount of plaque is going to get adhered to it. And if any plaque is getting adhered, it can be brushed or polished from the surfaces. Now, what are the benefits of finishing and polishing? Are again one and the same. Minimal irritation, um, they should cause minimal irritation to the soft and hard tissue so that it should stimulate the natural tooth surface aesthetics less likely to trap food debris and plaque, reduces potential to the corrosion, and it should create a restoration more hygienic for maintenance. Now, grinding and finishing abrasives and cutting this provide the fast contouring and finishing of the restorations. They are made up of aluminum oxide, silicon carbide, and diamond particles. 
aluminum oxide is most preferred choice of uh, abrasive for composite as well as for the enamel surface now diamond abrasives uh, are more expensive they last a long and they have a faster working time they provide mirror finish to the surfaces as well as to the tooth these instruments are preferred for porcelain and ceramic because uh, it will be uh, very aggressive on those parts also now silicon carbide is preferred material for amalgam gold gold polishes and acrylic polishes because it won't cause discoloration the silicon carbides should not cause any discoloration so they are preferred among amalgam and gold polishes this comes in variable shapes and suitable material so that it can be used in different parts of the oral cavity just like diamond and carbide finishing and polishing instruments come in a range of shapes and suitable for certain material and procedure so the the choice of the instrument and the shape will be divided by both procedure and the material so finishing polishing agents will not be same for amalgam they will not be same for the composite they will differ by the choice of material choice of place of um, where the restoration has to be finished and polished now these are the way these abrasives are available in a coarse medium fine and super fine grades now these grades are again color coded so that we have easily um, standardization to pick them up and use it now generally instrument used for finishing and polishing these are the finishing burrs now lesser the number of cutting blades to the burr more aggressivities so the finishing burrs will have different gradations and they should be used from lesser burrs to the uh, bur uh, flutes to the more flutes that means they are available from 8 10 16 20 and 30 flutes so initially you should use the uh, finishing burr with the 8 then 12 then 16 then 20 and 30 so that you will get a uniform sm smooth surface and the finish luster of the material now these diamond burrs are abrasive points they are available in the forms of stones different attachments they come at low speed high speed and this coated abrasive disc are for the gross reduction that is um, aluminum oxide as i said told to you now they are medium and fine are also available with the uh, flexible disc which are used for composite restoration now this for finishing and polishing you get different cups also the pumice paste or different polishing pastes are also available different wheels are also available and this finishing points in different shapes are also available now for amalgam finishing madam has already covered this is amalgam finishing kit which has got brown green and super green now for composite they have a green and white this uh, green uh, they are used in a sequence it contain different shapes and size and gross finishing can be done with the white also now for glass enamel generally the uh, tricky question is asked when the finishing and polishing of the glass enamel is done the uh, gross finishing and uh, finishing of the glass enamel is done at the time of uh, at the end of the restoration with the help of sharp instrument or a blade and the final finishing and polishing of the glass enamel should be done after 24 hours that is the most common viva questions about the glass enamel finishing and this finishing kits are also available for high gloss and uh, gloss and a uniform surface now for the gold direct indirect restoration these are the different forms in which they are available blue green and super green there are wheels and points which are available these are my references uh, for all this topic so with this i would like to thank dr darshan uh, and university for giving this uh, good platform for teachers uh, to share their